everyone, welcome, I'm Davy, and in today's video I am sharing with you staples of my maternity clothing that I have been wearing that have gotten me through my pregnancy. And of course, most of them are thrifted or hand-me-down because that's how I fly and that's my style. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up for thrifting and let's just jump right in with what I have been wearing regularly and that has been getting me through my pregnancy. So first things first, going with the comfortable. You've probably seen me wear this in some of the videos. It is a cowl neck green sweatshirt. And of course the rouging on the side helps a lot with um, expanding bellies. And a lot of normal clothes actually have these rouging on the side. So you could get these in some normal clothes as well. And this was a hand-me-down. The brand is um, Isabel Maternity, so it's very cute, it's very comfortable. I wear it with a pair of leggings, which leads me into my next staple is just a nice black pair of leggings or brown. I'm a teacher, so I do have to dress up almost every day. And leggings with a long sweater or a dress have been perfect. These are hand-me-down, again, black leggings. They are motherhood maternity and they have just been very nice to have. I also have a fleece lined one since it is the winter months. They are really nice to have, especially when it's zero degrees outside. The belly band above the belly has been great too. I really like that. And they stay up and you just feel like you're not gonna expose anything. So leggings are a staple to have in my pregnancy wardrobe. Another staple is of course a tank top because her bellies are getting bigger and shirts get shorter if you're still wearing regular shirts. This is a Liz Lang maternity and this was a hand-me-down as well. It just goes well under other shirts that I already have. It is more of a spring color but I really don't care most of the time because they're hidden under sweaters and things like that that I wear in the winter. So that's really nice to have. I also did get a couple nursing tanks already and I've been wearing um, this gray one that I have underneath. I've been wearing that and of course I'm all wear that after baby comes. Those are staples of it to have as well and those were hand me down. Alright, a little more formal. This cowl neck sweater, I have several of them, is a great staple to have in the neutral color. It um, is so comfortable. It is a motherhood maternity again. I love the design on the front. I wear this probably every other week or so. I just don't feel like you need to have a lot of maternity clothes and I still fit some of my normal clothes as well even though I am a little over 31 weeks pregnant. But um, this has been very comfortable and fun to have and I get so many compliments in it. Another staple any pregnant woman should have in the winter months is a sweater or cardigan, whatever you want to call this. This I did thrift. It is a streetwear and honestly it's not paternity. Um, they just go very well over maternity t-shirts. They go, this goes well past my rear end so if I want to wear it with my leggings that is perfect because then it's all hidden covered and it just initially kind of hid my baby bump a little bit which I don't know why I was doing that but sweaters slash cardigans are great to have especially in the neutral color and you can wear just a plain shirt underneath. Right. Another staple that has been great are stretchy skirts. I recommend stretchy of course because they expand with your belly. I do have a couple regular skirts that are stretchy. This is does happen to be a motherhood maternity I believe no nope, old navy maternity skirt I do have some regular stretchy ones the long ones too the maxi skirts are great because they expand with your belly and it just keeps going and they're very comfortable as well so I recommend having that in your maternity wardrobe another thing are skinny jeans I've been wearing these skinny jeans they have a nice belly band I do carry pretty high but I really have been liking these dark wash skinny jeans. I will wear them on our jean day that I have for school that we can wear with just like a long shirt like I have on or a sweater. They have been a staple to have for a pair of jeans. I do have a couple pairs of jeans. I do recommend having one or two. Um, another thing I recommend are nursing bras. Already invest in those. I did not buy 
maternity bras because I thought, why would I if I'm gonna be wearing nursing bras? Another who knows how long after baby comes. So I invested in a couple of those uh, when they were on sale. Um, I did get some from my sister as well, which I don't feel too awkward wearing. You just wash them. And then again, like I said, invested in some when they were on sale to have. So those are some of the staples I have been having in my wardrobe. Wintertime is nice for shoes too because you can just wear boots and slip-ons and that way you don't have to bend over so much. So if you don't have a comfortable pair of boots for your pregnancy or a pair of shoes, invest in those too and that will get you through hopefully. Hopefully this was helpful to you if you're not sure what to have in your wardrobe. Check out my Instagram, by the way. It's Davy Killian. I do thrifted teacher outfits of the day, and right now, obviously, I'm pregnant, so I'm doing my pregnancy outfits that I have been wearing and my combinations that I put together. So go check that out and follow me there if you're not yet. Um, anyways, that is it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet. I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking, and I would love to have you join my YouTube community. Well, I'm going to let you go there, and I will talk with you in my next video. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.